As much as I love my Cajun style seafood boils, there's something that I've been trying for the last year or so, and that is what they call a Viet Cajun style seafood. And I've done it before on Dungeness crab, and a lot of people are doing it with crawfish. Now, I don't expect Southern Louisiana to really necessarily go along with this style too much because of tradition. You know, they, they like their way, and I tell you what, I love their way. Nothing wrong with it, but I'm never opposed to trying something new. Now, what I'm talking about has gotten very big in the Houston, Texas area over the last decade, and it's Viet Cajun. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm putting a Viet Cajun twist to some Gulf shrimp and some Gulf blue crabs. Got a little small pot here. We're only doing like, now I got eight crabs, and I went ahead and cleaned these crabs to make more room in this pot. Went ahead and, and got them cleaned out, the shells off of them, which is going to reduce the cooking time on that. I also took and deveined the shrimp, and uh, this is a very easy method for deveining shrimp because I like to boil my shrimp head on because to me that really gives it all the flavor. And normally I like to boil my crabs with the shell and everything intact for that same reason. But today I'm doing it a little bit different. Getting ready to fire this pot up. I'll walk you through the ingredients. All right, let's take our lid off. We're up to a pretty good little boil there. We're gonna go in with about two and a half cups of a crab boil mix. Just use your favorite crab boil. I've got four ounces of a liquid crab boil concentrate. I'm gonna put about a half a bottle of this uh, Louisiana style hot sauce. Got one cup of fish sauce. Got three lemons cut in half. Gonna squeeze the juice in, just drop the whole lemon in. One large onion, just quartered. Four heads of garlic, I cut the top to expose the garlic. That's a lot of garlic for such a small pot, but garlic is something that the Asians really use a lot of to really bring that really good flavor out. I've got two stalks of lemongrass that I cut down and I've also smashed it to release its flavors and oils. I've got about a half a cup of ginger that I uh, trimmed the peeling off of and just di did a coarse dice on that. I'll let that boil for about five minutes just to get everything broke down, get those onions breaking down, get that garlic breaking down. I can probably kill this fire a little and still maintain a good boil. That's looking pretty good right there. All right, so we're gonna put our lid back on. Be back in about five minutes. Now I've got one crab that's still whole. I decided to leave him whole, only to do a thumbnail with. And there goes in the remaining crabs that I've cleaned. All right, I have actually been going four minutes and that's going to be good enough for right now because I want to add this shrimp in here. By the way, this thing never lost a boil by adding these crabs in there. But I've got three pounds of some really nice Gulf shrimp. We're just going to drop those in there. Yeah, just like that. Let them go about one minute. So you might be thinking those big shrimp one minute's not long enough. Well, you're correct. What it's going to do, they're not going to be near about fully cooked. I'm getting ready to cut this fire off to this pot, take the lid off, and the residual heat from the water will cook these shrimp as it's cooling off without making them hard to peel. We're going to do that right now. Off of the gas, off of the lid. And look at there, we already got a nice pink color. To be honest with you, that didn't even boil a full minute. And that would just sit there, lid off, and cool down and soak. 
The longer they soak, the better the flavor. Now, let's put a sauce together while these are cooling down. I've got my wok heated up, going in with one pound of butter. There's two sticks, and there's two more. It's going to get that melted in good. Now, in this bowl, I have two heads of garlic. I took that garlic and I've got a press that I pressed all that garlic, garlic through to make it real fine. And I also took lemongrass until I had about two and a half, three tablespoons and just chopped it up. So in with that, in with the garlic. Now into that, I've got a lemon. I'm gonna squeeze the juice out of this half. I've got another half of this lemon. Squeeze the juice into there. Now I've got a tablespoon of more of that Louisiana style hot sauce. Go in with about a tablespoon of fish sauce. Give or take a little bit. Now one tablespoon of the crab bowl mix. There again, just use your favorite One last ingredient, I've got three of these kaffir lime leaves going in. Right here at the end. Gonna let this go about another minute. We're just gonna remove it from the heat. By that time, our shrimp and crabs should be ready to remove from the pot. All right, I think we got everything ready. I'm just gonna take the contents of this basket which that means everything you see me add, that's going in this bag. But all we're really interested at this point is just the seafood. And that's just onions, I'm gonna leave them out of there. Yes, sir. Just gonna pour it right over the top of it. Make sure to scrape it all in good. bag, get some of the air out of it, give it a good twist, now I can tell I've already poked a hole in it, but it's alright, it's going in a bowl, but before we put this in a bowl, we want to secure this knot. The whole reason for doing this bag trick is just to toss this stuff around, get it good and coated. That's all it's for. All right, into a bowl. There we go. I know one thing, man. The smell out here is driving me freaking crazy. That it is. All right, now like I said earlier, a lot of these restaurants, and it's not just Houston, it's other places, they'll serve this in a bag like this. And if you're wondering what kind of bag, this is an oven bag that's designed for hot food to be cooked in, so it's completely safe. Mm, that peeled. You can't ask for a shrimp that peels any more perfect than that. I mean, it just did not stick, it flakes right off. Oh my God. Dude. Mmm. Fantastic flavor. Man, this stuff mm. would cure a crackhead, I'm telling you. There you ain't <laughs> Are you right on that one? Well, I'm dead serious. <laughs> All right, I want to try one of these crabs right here. Now, I broke these into half bodies, as you can see. And right back here is where the lump crab meat is. Give that a try. Ooh, man. Hey, every one of these Smell flippers, that. if you pull them away, are going to have some meat in there. Mm. Oh, my God. 
process another thing went I didn't even go five minutes I went more like three and a half four minutes on these crabs because they are the shell off mm -hmm. and stuff for that one. Oh wow and um, add the shrimp and so really the residual heat from the water finished cooking everything and those are just perfect absolutely perfect there's still more meat in that but mm. I want to get into one of these claws love me some claw meat you see where they join at right here come up with a little bit yeah yeah you go right in behind there like that hmm. and then when you kind of twist it it should all come out in one piece if you're lucky feels like it is looks like it is kind of hmm. side to side there you go uh, be that's how you do that and i'm not going to throw that because there's still meat in this body just trying to do a taste test crab claw mmm mm. that is fantastic oh my god that is as sweet as meat you can find all right <laughs> i went out to eat a couple of days ago we had raw oysters and uh what else did i have i had raw oysters and seafood gumbo but anyway, they serve cocktail sauce and uh, cocktail sauce with these oysters. And, and that horseradish that they brought out with that cocktail sauce was the most potent I've ever had in my life. I want to get you to try it. Okay. I, I, brought, had them, I had them give me some little tubs of it to carry home. Okay. Ooh, boy, just smelling of it. All right, there's a knife right here if you need to. Put a little bit on shrimp. Here I go. I'm gonna get another shrimp. Dip the shrimp to it. These shrimp are massive. That they are, man. They're great size. They are. They're not jumbos, but they're a good size to do this with. They'd make a good barbecue shrimp size as well. Ooh! <laughs> you, you get some on there? Derek's having flashbacks of the first COVID test he ever had done. My <laughs> Lord, you got that right. <laughs> oh. oh, God. That stuff is potent, man. That right there is bringing tears to my eyes, Hoss. Yeah, but it's a good... It's it, good. But the thing about horseradish sauce is it's not mm. like a pepper where it has that lingering heat. That heat dies out as quick as it comes, but it's more of that. It's just straight up the nose, out the eyeballs. Here we go. That's exactly what it's like when you went in there for that COVID and actually it reminded oh. me a lot of when I went and got my COVID test and they shoved it all up my nostrils. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that is the most potent horse for it. I got to find out where they get that. Oh my Ooh. God, so good. Well, I'll tell you what, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all showed you something. I love my Cajun flavors, and I'm not taking anything from the state of Louisiana. I love South Louisiana. I love all the people down there. But I encourage you, regardless of where you live, to give this, this uh, twist to it, this Vietnamese Cajun twist to it, and just try it. It melts so well. It's a perfect fusion food. But until next time, I'm Russ Jones. I'm Derek Jones. We are Smoky Ribs Barbecue.